thank you for joining me for a new edition of Bikinis and Martinis. This has been one heck of a week. I don't know about you all, but uh, started off um, on a great note because we'd had a three-day weekend with Memorial Weekend last weekend. And um, I quickly moved into 12-hour work days. Uh, but I was committed to getting stuff done every morning. So uh, after having my cup of coffee in the morning, I was finding myself cleaning out closets, scrubbing the bath and toilet, um, you name it, I did it. Um, reality of life on a boat is that you are often in very cramped spaces and you are doing your best to try to keep everything organized. And what we found yeah, last season in the Bahamas is that um, for me personally, I brought too much shit. <laughs> so it was time to clean out the closet. And by clean out the closet, I mean most of my drawers. Um, I hope you enjoy what it's like actually living on a boat. Um, for me, today's martini is a very dry Kettle One martini. It's got three olives and it's delicious. Our next episode that's coming out is going to be our episode four of the sailing videos where we actually round Cape Hatteras. So come join us. Thank you again. We appreciate your support. Where to begin? Uh, I need to start figuring out the space on this boat. I brought a lot of stuff on this boat that we never used in the nine months that we've been living aboard full time. Um, and realized that I didn't have enough space for the things that we probably could have brought and stored and then not have spent two to three times the price in the Bahamas. So um, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go through and do an inventory in here, which is where all my expensive red wines are. And to be careful with my wines, I went ahead and used dog pee pee pads. Uh, there's a story for that. Uh, and a little bit of bubble wrap to keep my wines protected uh, while we were uh, under sea. Dancing all around till the disco ball pops. But I have to be me, and everyone can see your anger is misplaced. My favorite, my absolute, hands down favorite. Break it down to you and me uptown, dancing all around till the disco ball pops. But I have to be me, and everyone can see your anger is misplaced. And I'm gonna tell you, don't hate me because I get attention. Don't turn me into what. Sandy, I've got a La Rochelle. <laughs> and I kept meaning to drink this. In fact, our friends, the Parkers, uh, before we took off from Virginia, we were going to do a vertical taste on that. So uh, I'm a little bit worried at this point because of the way it's been uh, stored, getting bounced around and it's not exactly in a cooler. Uh, so we're gonna see what happens with that. But I've got a lot of Paradex, a lot of Ragusi. I do have a lot of Justin. Uh, my favorite, of course, is Papa, Pier Papa Pietro Perry Pinot Noirs. I've got Linmar uh, Pinot Noir. I've got Elizabeth Spencer Pinot Noir. Um, these lovelies that are in these black um, paper, uh, whatever these things are called, that's also Justin. These are, let me open one up. This is a very fancy Justin. All right, so this is the Justin Isosceles Reserve. Um, a really, really delicious wine. I think I may have a bottle of this um, this week. I've got some Reserve um, Gary Farrells. I've got Flurry. Flurry is a beautiful boutique winery. Love, love, love visiting them. They are, it's an amazing tasting room, great service and delicious wine. Um, again, got my Paradox and I've got three bottles of La Rochelle. So this is my sister's favorite Pinot Noir. 
Um, but it's also my mother's favorite Pinot Noir. Um, may she rest in peace because she has been uh, not with us for several years now. That's it, wow, I am surprised. I thought I had a hell of a lot more of this than I do. So I need to now think about where I'm going to store it. I'm not gonna store it in there because that was um, really actually a waste of space. We Okay, so this is my, I guess, day three-ish of being on the boat by myself um, while Eric is off taking care of the motor. Um, yesterday I deep scrubbed the shower, really needed it. We had mold everywhere on the ceiling, everywhere. Um, so today, this is the project. This is our cockpit. It has not been cleaned since last year. I think it was the August time frame. Is this not the most disgusting thing? And you know what? When I was lifting up the cushions, there was some sort of beetle. <laughs> and I don't know where he went. He got scared. I didn't want to have to kill him. Um, so he's somewhere. Uh, he we tried to get into this locker. This is where we keep our propane tanks. Um, but uh, uh, I shoot him out of there and he went running. So for all I know, he's hiding out in one of the drains. So this is going to be a fun project today. Can I just say it's hot? <laughs> it's about not even nine o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. No, Tuesday, nine o'clock in the morning here in the hot Florida sun. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Bikinis and Martinis. In next week's edition, it's going to be a sailing video and it's going to show us rounding Cape Hatteras for the first time. We thank you so much for watching and look forward to seeing you again. Until then, don't forget to click the like and subscribe wherever it is. Thank you. Wow, that is amazing. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe. And thank you so much for your support.